Hello YouTube, I'm Razor from Nightmare Surf and today I'm going to explain how to create a listen server config file for your create server in-game in, in Counter-Strike Source. Alright, I tried to keep this tutorial really short because it's uh, something simple and I've already prepared a listen server config file for you. So all you have to do is to download it from the description and I'm going to explain the few most important comments you might want to change or know about. Alright, uh, this is what my listen server config file looks like. Um, I want to please ask you that you don't change the layout or if you change give proper credits to me because it does in fact take some time to explain all the comments and collect all the comments and put them in this listen server config file. Alright, um, the first thing you might want to change is the host name. It doesn't really matter because no one is going to be able to see it anyway if you play on a LAN server. But yeah, it's just for myself. I usually put a uh, Razor and Nightmare Surf in there. That's nice, but it's not really important. Then after that, I want to explain the command here. Um, this is basically what does remove all the timer in a surf map if there are any timers. But the timers are usually executed once you step into a level or yeah, run through a portal. So you might want to bind this to a key and activate it while playing in-game again because this doesn't work at all times. Um, here below we have the basic server settings used to run the server. I don't really want to explain anything here because yeah. Oh yes, one thing I want to explain is this command. You might not have seen this command. Um, this is uh, basically how long the delay is after you die till the next round. So with this command you only have one second delay, usually it's seven seconds, which is pretty long to me at least. So if you as example die by accident or mistake or even if you want to die or whatever, you, your response and the round restarts within one second. That's really useful. Then below here we have all the surf settings you will need. Um, the accelerate is set to 5. You usually should keep that to 5 unless you surf on Skyworld. Um, below that we have the air accelerate which is set to 150. You should usually leave that as well unless you're a trick surfer. And the next two commands are to enable bunny hopping and to enable boost. I highly recommend to leave them on one if you're a surfer. Then below again are two belows. The cheats set to one, so you can always use no clip if you want to explore a level or a map, whatever. And here at the end we have a TV enable one which basically activates your source TV in your create server. This is really useful because like that you can record smooth source TV demos and yeah I really like that feature so if you want to record demos you can leave that on one if you want you can put out a record to one as well then it records every demo it's basically everything you are while you are in your create server but to me that just creates sometimes really large files and I don't like that. Then your TV name, if you want you can change that as well. I just have it as Nightmare TV. And below here there are the commands explained you need to record. Um, just a short, short thing is you have to get rid of these if you record a demo. So basically what you put in console is a TV online record and your demo name which could example be demo razor one or whatever. That's up to you I guess. 
and yeah, that's basically it. That's the whole thing already. Uh, like I said, you have to put it it into your C strike config folder. It's really easy. The download link is in the description. I'm going to add a link to a TXT file which you can open in Firefox, Opera, Chrome or Internet Explorer. Whatever you are using, just in case you assume I am putting a virus in this file, which I of course would never do. <laughs> uh, just kidding. No, actually not, but yeah. Well, that's it, and please again, don't remove my credits, and if you modificate anything or change anything, just add your name in the credits, uh, because like I said before, it really takes some time to lay out all this and explain all the comments. So, thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoy my tutorial, and maybe we see us again in another tutorial. Bye-bye!